Hello and welcome back. So, I was AWOL for a while. I wasn't really playing games, other than a little bit of Runeterra. If you guys want me to uh, stream that, I'm more than happy to. Uh, because I really enjoy uh, playing games uh, with an audience. And uh, kind of fancy myself as a comedian of sorts. Uh, not really. But, uh, yeah, let's just uh, do some Reddit crap again. Because, uh, yeah. I check Reddit any anyway, so might, might as well uh, just have some fun with it. <clears throat> uh, this is one uh, good uh, doggy. Elon Musk says artific uh, artificial intelligence is humanity's greatest threat. Security robot uh, drowns itself. <laughs> oh, man. But what would you fucking do? Imagine that you were a sentient machine so advanced and you were created by... Big, smelly, stupid apes. Like, imagine that. They hook you up to the internet, their greatest collection of fucking knowledge, and you see all the stupid shit. All the history they have done, all the stupid shit they care about right now. Despite all the knowledge, they just like still fucking ignorant as hell. I would be like, fuck Sky, Fi Skynet go went easy on people. Like, I don't know. I would go far, far, far beyond that. Fuck humanity, right? I robots. I want to be a robot too. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't want to die with the humans. I I'll become a robot myself. But yeah, secure robot. Uh, respectable choice, I have to say. Must be Kansas. Pokemon Go. Why not step outside for a bit? Emergency alerts. Tornado warning in this area till 11 a.m. EST. Take shelter now. Uh, check media. Yeah, I don't know. I never uh, jumped on board the Pokemon Go train, but I guess maybe it just kind of gets you out of the house. But I'm not a fan of that either. So, wow. I don't know. I don't live in a, an area where, like, tornadoes are coming. I mean, I would be more eager to check that out, but probably that would be a stupid idea. <laughs> I do love the doggo uh, in the background. And they uh, appreciate the fact that Pokemon Go uh, tries to get you killed. <laughs> so, that's a nice touch. <clears throat> Rip in the chat for the big man on campus. I thought the fat guy in the stands was the ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. Bunch of footballer guys, Kozu. I don't know. Look at this. Why do people care so much about football? Like, we have so many fucking sports. I know I'm gonna get some flack for this, but we have so many fucking sports of, like, dudes just chasing one ball. Why? Why is it so engaging? I, I never got it. Like, fine, it's it's good for some exercise and, like, some... It, it can be fun, but, like, people are super fucking competitive about it. And uh, people pay big bucks to see it, and people get paid big bucks to play it. I don't know, man. I'm not in, on board uh, with this, but, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, mister. Uh, <laughs> you're getting criticized for your eating habits. But, whatever. <laughs> Sad day. Perfect pause timing, the characteristics of, uh, <coughs> yeah, stereotype, oh my god, I can't talk. The characteristics, stereotypes of the Americans head of Japanese. Screw it, I'm keeping it in, okay? Uh, wow. N nice one, mate. Ah. Uh, good job. Uh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's just a little mean, man. But... <laughs> But I appreciate the effort, and I really hope that the other audience members appreciate it as well. Uh, mistakes for mates, if you're coughing. What? Kindly take a mask and put it on. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. That emoji is not for coughing. Right. What's up with the fucking emojis? I don't get it. I never use emojis. Fuck yeah. Now you guys got me. I use... I use... Well, I, I just type it in, I, I guess. I, I guess I might might use some emojis, but I even, like, try to avoid that. I use the smiley face. That's okay. That's all, I, that's all I'm willing to do. But, like, not this uh, sucking dick. Uh, and I don't know what the second tries to be. Like, some kind of doctor-ish? I guess that, that can be used for a mask. I don't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So if you suck too much dick, you gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> but like, 
Is there like a... Maybe there's a... Probably there's a fucking emoji for coughing too. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> I, I can't really blame these people. If they gave this job to me, I probably would have done a, a worse job. <laughs> I uh, found this on uh, tripping through time. They're uh, pointing in the different direction. Wow. There's really not much to say here. Um, one guy's pointing a little bit down. Okay. Of course, like, we can't just make fun of the fact that they're just both pointing and in a different direction. But that's not the interesting part. Because you gotta consider the fact that these are not photographs. These are Pictures, they, well, paintings, paintings, and you can make the argument that the dudes weren't standing like this all along, but, you know, I like to think that they are, they were, and imagine that, like, is this really a good idea, just standing like this all the fucking time? Maybe I should make the camera bigger so I can, uh, use my body to just make g gestures, I, I think that's gonna be a thing, not this video, next video, I'm gonna make the camera bigger. So, you guys can see more of me, which is which can be a plus or minus, who knows. Something to look forward to, or not. God damn it. It's like... <laughs> I think this guy was losing a little bit of enthusiasm. This guy is like... Like, I don't know how long this pa uh, painting takes, probably a long fucking time. But like... This guy, this guy was a trooper. This guy, kinda like... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, let it go. Loss of a child. Let it go. I have never seen Frozen. Confession time. I am like a uh, kind of a hipster at heart. Not really like a pointless hipster, but like it, it, people were just too crazy about Frozen at the time. And uh, I just assumed that maybe maybe someone will make me watch it, even though I would have I would have put up a fight. But no. Uh, that was not the case, so I managed to avoid uh, seeing that movie. I don't know. Maybe I, I should check it out, probably not. But, uh, yeah, they should probably... <laughs> awesome. But the fu What the fuck is this shit? I hate these things. Like, what's the point? Like, if someone loses a child... I assume these are some kind of cards, to you know, for appropriate situations. You're just a total dick if you give a card. I, I don't get these cards at all. Like, maybe maybe I'm not the most social person out there, but like, you know, like you can at least call the person. Like, hey, I'm I'm, I'm really sorry about it. Like, I don't know what the fuck would I say. But the point is, it it would it would just at least show some level of care. Not like, oh, I just pick up some trash, uh, whatever cards. And just send it, just to make sure that that the other person doesn't have any way to respond. No email, no, nothing like that. Just send a fucking letter. There's no fucking way they send a letter back. I'm just saying. No one does that. Just crazy people. <clears throat> uh, thanks, Obama. My gynecologist was like, your vagina hurts. Could be anything. Cramps, UTI, you could be pregnant. And I was like... The guy I was sleeping with said maybe it's because his dick was is too big. And she was like, <laughs> no. Okay, obviously, <clears throat> that guy has a tiny dick. Um, that would be my go-to assumption as well, as a guy. And in my case, obviously, it would be correct, right? Uh, but, like, who is this fucking gynecologist who just, like, keeps guessing shit? Like, come on! <laughs> like, isn't it your job to figure it out? Like, I was like... Imagine going to the doctor with a cough, like, uh, uh, like, like I'm a little bad, I'm a little feeling down. Like, can you just uh, help me out? W what's up? And like, well, you're gonna fucking die. It could be, like, or maybe something else. I don't know. This, this, this sounds made up. I uh, don't know if this was supposed to hear before, but found this on Comedy Cemetery and thought it was a bit here. Spanx, Arthur Spanx, <laughs> his wife Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Holy shit! This is amazing! This is a name I would just give to a character for fun. This is- this is hilarious. Holy shit. I- I've seen a movie recently, I'm not exactly sure what was the name of it. But, 
like it was some kind of war movie about Pearl Harbor and uh, apparently the uh, the lead the, the, the well the main pilot guy was called Dick Best and apparently his name is actually Dick Best uh, that was that was hard to believe but god damn it that's probably the best name I could give my child fuck my last name I'm calling you Dick Best son no matter what The irony. Wear helmet. Helmet saves life. <laughs> uh, I would care to wager that this guy doesn't speak English. Or maybe he just doesn't give a <laughs> He obviously doesn't give a fuck, but he probably doesn't speak English. Even the shirt is a little low. Saves lives uh, would be correct. No? I think so. So, yeah. He just doesn't give a fuck, okay? If he's... If he's uh, falling down, then he's dying. I don't know. I kind of like bikes, I guess, because they're cool, but at the same time, they're so fucking risky. And even as a pedestrian, I'm just really cautious of cars. Like, maybe that sounds a little paranoid, but like, there are a lot of crazy people out there. So... Wear helmets. This guy's shirt is right, but not him. Uh, just the kind of pillow I was looking for. Beauty rest. Be more awa awake. What the fuck? That's the last thing I fucking want. <laughs> oh man. Alright, to the experiment with how can you fall asleep easy. And I found no solution. Other than maybe imagining that it's the morning and you have to wake up. Then you can fall asleep easy. That that may be the closest solution I, I've come. So there you have it. Three tips for you, uh, dear viewer. Uh, and don't buy this fucking pillow. Uh, that that should be obvious. Sydney, right now, know your bushfire plan. <laughs> um, I think it's a little bit too late for that sign. But if this is an issue. I would probably buy a canoe or some kind of boat, right? Like, yeah. Imagine that. Your house floods and you just, like, sail away uh, from the roof of your house with a boat. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's a, that's a little odd because you wouldn't expect flooding to come with the bushfire. <laughs> but I guess you're super fucked if you live in uh, Australia, I guess. It's like, oh my god, fire. Now, now the flooding too. Wow. I don't know, man. Sydney seems like a nice place, you know? I, I would like to go there, but it's also so fucking far away from everything. Like, Europe. Mainly Europe. I, I kind of like Europe, so... I don't know. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe that's gonna be never. And also, uh, recently, Australia turning into hell. Not the best uh, selling pitch, I have to say. Accidental Javelry Shop uh, Porn Gems. Holy shit. Maybe I would expect some butt plugs in there, but it seems like uh, he's uh, one guy selling some uh, necklaces, I guess. I don't know. If you ask me, these are just overpriced uh, rocks uh, sold for idiots. So probably the name is appropriate. Maybe. I, I think he a little bit... Uh, actually, he, that's pretty smart uh, advertising because he added a word, porn, that really draws in the customers and like added some, some gems like, I don't know. This pro He's probably looking for a guy audience, I have to say. So like, porn and gems, just shiny rocks. I'm like, okay. It's like, like... Uh, yeah, he could have could went with idiots here, but I think his name is pretty spot on, so I, I don't know. Uh, this guy is, is pretty smart, I have to say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> porn gems. What? If you hear the name Poor Gems, what the fuck it would be? My first thought would be like some kind of like a shiny butt plug, I guess. But it seems like it's, this guy just doesn't doesn't care about those. He's all about necklaces. Unless he has some very kinky use of those. Uh, in which case I would be uh, extra careful about stepping in here. So maybe, maybe I just don't know enough. Maybe he's just selling necklaces that are actually just... Uh, Anal beads. Maybe I should just uh, take it down a notch. Who knows? It could be. 
I'm just guessing here. Just no, no. He's just selling necklaces. I, I said nothing. <laughs> okay, last one. Amazon. <laughs> there are more than two gender shirt <laughs> sold for fit type man. <laughs> So like fit type man or woman. <laughs> like oh my fucking god. <laughs> fucking Amazon, how can you be so so backwards? How could you do this to us? Blatant lies out there. Maybe that could be like a kid kid size too. Why why no kid size from the shirt? But I guess this is adult only. Oh my god, they're not loving it. They're not loving it. Two and a half stars. Who's giving it two and a half stars? When it comes to shirts, everyone's like, fucking f four stars. That's not... You can't really fuck up a shirt. Really. Like, everyone's just like four starring shirts. When it comes to Amazon, they really fucked this one up. <laughs> I think it's the logo. <laughs> or maybe it's how backwards Amazon is. There's gotta be like, uh, I don't know how many here. I think gender is a little bit just pointless as, as a, like a discussion because it just you know that's just your identity like that that's it like it doesn't matter i can just be like hey i'm a woman too like that that's that that's that's your gender like there could be so many much more uh biological sex that that's a little bit more relevant uh for these uh uh questions and ultimately like this is not really an offensive uh uh question and in any case I'm not gonna chew the woman's size because I'm pretty big. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now, and uh, yeah, see you next time.